New Country 103.7 WXCY. We are in Nashville. It is Music Row Live and the CMA 50th anniversary this year. And it's all thanks to our friends at Bob Ward Homes. And we are sitting down with a tall man. Just performed at Hartford Community College to help benefit charity. It's Mr. Trace Adkins. Good to see you again, bud. Good to see you. Well, welcome back and welcome in for the CMAs this week. And it's kind of unique. We uh, we all come to you this week. Normally, we see you out on the road, and <laughs> now everybody comes to you. You get to sleep in your own bed. This is the best way to do it. You know, let's, let's just keep doing it like this. Yeah, we, we need to do this more often, don't yeah, we? Yeah. Well, you've got some new music out. Uh, we have heard a couple of different things, including the most recent, which is Lit, mm -hmm. and uh, working on a whole new project is what we understand, correct? Well, I'm finished with it. I'm, my work's done now. You know, It's up to the label to do what they do with it. I finished it month or so ago. Oh, good. Yeah. It's, a, it's tough when you're out touring and you're on the road trying to find that time to get the songs together, put it how you want it. It's got to be a tough thing to juggle. It, the only thing that's tough about it is just trying to find a time when, you, for me anyway, uh, an opportunity to rest my voice for a few days so I can go in the studio and do the best I can, you know. I need to rest my voice for a few days before I try to do master vocals. That's the only thing that's hard to find. It's just those little spaces where yeah. I can do that. But, you can uh, be quiet, not have to do a whole lot. Yeah. Well, let's talk about something else that I know is really important to you, and I want to give you the proper credit for, and that's the work that you do for our military. You just recently uh, received an award that not many people have received before uh, for all of your humanitarian work that you've done through the military, and you do USO tours as well. I know you did one of those this summer. How important is that to you, because you are so busy, to find that time and work it into your schedule? It's just something that we have been doing now for, I don't know, I probably started doing it in my second or third year in this business so probably 17 18 years now we've been doing stuff with uso and with the warrior project um, so um, it, it's a privilege you know it really is it's a privilege uh, to associate with those men and women and uh, whether they're active or veterans you know um, it's, it's something that it, it is a selfish endeavor on my part, I have to say, because like I say, I, I think I get more from it than they do. It's, it's a privilege. Yeah, and I tell my peers, you know, uh, it's the most appreciative audience you'll ever play for. They really let you know that they appreciate you coming over there because they they do. They just, they just yearn for something from home, you know, a familiar face or a voice or something that takes them away for a couple of hours. You yeah. Know. Well, I, I wanted to make sure to give you credit for that and thank you for that on behalf of those men and women because yourself and Craig and Toby, you guys have always kind of been, whenever I hear about a USO tour or something going on with the troops, I can guarantee that one of those three names is always <laughs> going to be in there. So thank you for that. All right. Trace Adkins with us today. Enjoy your CMA week. Enjoy being able to sleep in your own bed and seeing all us knuckleheads come to you this time. Appreciate it. And uh, we appreciated you coming to see us in uh, Maryland. We'll see you again soon.